This move of the arms makes the golf swing so much easier. And what is that? Connection, keeping the arms connected to the body. So this just makes the golf swing easier to create a good club path, a good shallow move, and better turn for the golf ball because it's all one big unit. So before we dive into a few different drills that will get this connection, we need to understand why disconnecting the arms is such a bad thing to do because then we'll really know that this is something we've really got to do is keep them connected. So what I see players do a lot is I'll see their first and foremost left arm start to disconnect away from them, usually in the takeaway via trying to have too much of a dead straight back takeaway with their hands. That gets that left arm disconnected. Now our arms are completely independent from our body's pivot. Our pivot is not really going to have too much of a say on what the club does in a good way. So when I see that left arm disconnect, I'll typically see a player with a very high left arm. So their position will have a lack of depth. And then from there, because they've already got this disconnection here, when they turn down, the only effect their pivot's going to have on the swing is throw the club over the top. Not what we want there. And with that right arm, when I see this get disconnected, so that right arm starts to move away from the body, this could be in the backswing or the downswing, I'd start to see that club get steep. So you can see as soon as my right arm disconnects, that right elbow starts to point behind me, which you can see that steepens the golf club. So there, I'm going to be extremely steep, chopping across the golf ball if I rotate from there, or early extending to get the club back on path. So that's why I need the arms to be more connected, because that's a lot that I've got to manage going through the golf swing. Left arm being more connected means our club path is going to be a lot better going through our golf swing. Right arm being more connected means we're going to have a better shaft movement. So then our body can then control our club better going through the shot, and then we're just going to be more consistent. Okay, so the first drill, you've probably seen this around a lot, and that is the towel drill. So that's where we get a towel, fairly long towel, we fold it up, put it underneath both arms, and you can see there, that's gonna keep some good connection if I keep it underneath my arms the entire time. It creates quite a, let's say, constricted feeling in the golf swing, but that's just because you've got a towel underneath your arms. So, if I keep this underneath my arms the entire time, I've got more connection. So you can see I can't really get a big full swing doing this, but it gives me the sensation of having that connection. Because as soon as any of the arms get disconnected, let's say left arm here, down it goes, not very fun. And it will do, of course, the exact same if my right arm disconnects too. So let's have a look at that. So if my right arm disconnects, let's say in the down swing, it falls as well. So brilliant, brilliant one to be able to keep your connection. So the next drill you can do here is if you know what arm is disconnecting for you. So this is where you need a glove and then you wanna put it underneath whatever arm is causing you the problem. So of course, if it's your left arm, put that glove underneath your left arm. Same concept as the towel. We wanna to keep this underneath our left arm the entire time through the golf swing. If my left arm disconnects at any point, backswing or downswing, the glove's gonna fall. Same concept for the right arm. I see a guy that has that right arm creep behind you. That's gonna create that gap. There we go. This is gonna help with the same thing. This is great for shallowing this one. So now I wanna keep it underneath my arm the whole way. Boom, there we go. Absolutely awesome. But there's a third part to this. And this is where this is a really cool thing. You can work on this on the golf course and it's not against the rules. So you can do a drill on the golf course and actually benefit from this. Grab a part of your shirt, tuck it underneath the arm that's affected. But let's say you just want to cover both bases. Cool, I understand that. Let's get both of them underneath the right arm. Now we've got that sensation like the towel or the gloves underneath our arms. So if we keep this bit of shirt underneath our arms here, we're going to be keeping more connected. So there we go. You may have seen tons of tour players do this, loads of them, just in their pre-shot routine. We'll grab a bit of shirt, put them under. I specifically remember Justin Rose doing this a lot. So, absolutely legal to do, and if this is your problem, you now have no excuse to not improve it because you can practice it on every single shot. So this is one of those areas where if you see someone not improving, let's say you're not improving, you've got to be honest to yourself. How much are you practicing it? If it's not every single shot, because you can do it and practice it on every single shot, that's on you. So, you've got the tools to be able to work on this and get this into your golf swing. Everyone needs to have their arms more connected in the golf swing, everyone. So you can all work on this. 
So, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button for more golf instruction, just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So, let's get those arms more connected and we'll play better golf.